I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Race number eight, the penultimate race on the day. It's the Phillies and Mayors 96 handicap over 1400 meters. It's uh, a class B event where the average rating is 90. And it's uh, going to be a, it's a tricky contest. And uh, pick six wise, you possibly want to include a few horses just to uh, survive. But uh, before we get into race number eight, let's have a listen to the interviews. I see a Pambilish, a nice filly. Been showing me very good sand work. However, I do feel I could be short of a bit of grass work. She's coming off a break, plus we've had a hell of a lot of rain, so it hasn't really played into our favour with the training. But uh, I think if she has luck in running, she has a bit of a wide draw, she could run into quartets. Here we go. Ashwin didn't name this one. <laughs> <laughs> very, very nice filly. Um, she's progressed into, into a smart three-year-old. She's relishing the KZN tracks and the weather here. Um, you know, Grant's one on her, he knows this fully well. Um, I think she'll be ideally suited to Gravel, and I think she'll be a very big runner on Saturday. Yeah, lots of confidence coming through from uh, Michelle Ricks regarding her runner. Here, here Komi Boki, who is a two-time winner, but she beat Copperview last time out. This is going to be a lot tougher, a lot tougher. This is uh, a class above, but let's see how she goes. They're happy to uh, have Grant for Nikak. One and a half kg uh, overweight here, so she carries 54 kg. So, yeah, let's see how she goes. She's gone up six points. I you think know what that, tell, that tells you what they think of the horse. You know, if you are going to allow a horse to race off an 88 instead of an 85, 100%. that just tells you what they think of the horse. I mean, <laughs> that's a big, bold statement. And I like the fact that she said that the horse is going to enjoy the course because having watched that last start and how confidently she was ridden. It wouldn't surprise me to see her use this low weight and try and go start to finish her. It's a bold move. Do you think she beats Aisling for gate speed? You know, what I think is that she's got the draw. Yes. And whether she goes to the front or whether she sits one of them, two of them, she will be up handy with the speed that she's shown last time out. She doesn't necessarily have to go to the front. Yeah, interesting, Dees, and uh, let, let's see how she goes, but I think uh, this horse, Princess Philippa, I, I just feel Cravel will suit her with, oh. with, a, sh with a sort of talk shorter run in. Talk to me, this horse is 6-1, to one. talk to me. I think, she, I think she could be worth a punt in the race, I think she's going to get the cover that she needs, and uh, Dago will be able to produce her at, at exactly the right moment. Hopefully the gaps open up for her, she doesn't have hard luck stories, she loves the distance, she bounced back to better form last time out, a good second behind Simple Simple, conceding 5 kgs. I think that run would have brought her on nicely. She has a second run uh, after rest and uh, Stuart Pettigrew, he's, uh, he's bringing his horses down and he's picking the races for them and he's doing well with them. So I think Princess Philippa could just be the right horse in the race. She's a four-time winner and as I mentioned, she loves the distance. She's met Captain Pegg, who I think would be a huge run over 1,400 meters, especially in this race here. So I'm, uh, I'm confident that number eight, Princess Philippa will run a huge race. Well, I'm leaving the last race to you. We've already discussed that. You're going to preview that race. So this race, I'm only suggesting three runners in the pick six uh, in uh, order of preference, eight, three, and six. I really was impressed with the way Let's Not Linger carried the weight last time out behind the fancied uh, runner from the Peter Musket stable, uh, Rocky Reef. But coming back to Princess Philema, I'm all in with you on uh, what you've mentioned. I just want to add to that because I pulled out a profile. She's won at the Val, she's won at the Val Classic track. She's won at Turfentine, she's won at Turfentine Inside Track. All the wins have been over twice over 1400 and twice over 1450 meters. She's an absolute star over this distance. And how about it? This race came up on a big race day, a 1400 meter race for Phillies and Mares. And I think having watched her in those centers, this Hollywood Bets Gravel seven furlongs is going to suit her down to the T. She is a six to one shot. I think after the recording of this show, you're not going to get six to one. She is going to shorten. That's too generous a price of a distance specialist. Dangers numbers three and uh, six. Those are the only numbers I'll include in the pick six, but I agree, number six, plenty of value at six to one.
I think maybe number nine, Hawker Typhoon, just one more run to include this one into exactors. Her last start behind Makara, a nice run over 1500. I think 1400 could just suit her. She's on the right mark to be competitive, and I think she'll run a nice race. So, numbers three, six, and nine, maybe if you're looking for a bit of uh, cover. You want to take some exact swingers, trifectas, those are the horses that you can play around. But for both Dees and myself, we're in the camp of number eight, Princess Philippa, in the eighth event on the day. Uh, my name's Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change. 